Hello, my darlings, and welcome to Tuesday's Let's Build. Oh my God. What on earth was that? That just came. <laughs> We're just, I'm going to keep that in because I thought that was stunning, to be perfectly truthful with you. Hello, friends. Welcome to the next part of the Arts and Crafts store. We're going to be cracking on with a bit, bit more exterior work today, a bit more of the back garden. Thank you all for your lovely comments last time. You guys are so fucking nice. It's untrue. It really is. This community, I say it all the time, but I just think you need to hear it. How amazing you are. How lovely and how proud I am of you. I am. I'm so proud at having a community this diverse, this kind, this funny, this filthy. You lot of filthy bitches. And so am I. That's really all why we all get along so well. Um, but every time I look at the comments, it's just, I just get reminded of how special you are. And I just wanted to say that. I hope you, uh, I hope you believe it as well when it comes from my mouth because I only state the truth. This has turned into like a speech, isn't it? <laughs> it's just supposed to be an introduction to a bloody Sims 4 building video. And here I am queefing out my mouth. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to, I just wanted you guys to hear that. That's all. That's all. We're all friends here. We've just got to speak like that, haven't we? Sometimes let us know how, how special we are. But um, yeah, anyway, we're going to be getting on with a bit more exterior work today. Back garden as well. Don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about separating the grandma's like little annex off to where the kids sleep. I might do the kids like a little separate cabin. Thinking about going that way with it. I think that would be a better idea rather than having this like long thing in the back. And I don't think we'll get to the inside today. So we won't get to the store today. And this is going to be the last Let's Build the World part this week. I'll bring it back next week and introduce you to the characters as well. I'm going to spend some time over the weekend perfecting the characters that I've already made. <clears throat> In my previous video as well, if you have a look at the pinned comment that I've, someone's commented and left loads of custom content with Native American designs and clothing and all sorts. I thought it was so amazing. So if you guys want some Native American uh, content in your game, custom content, go and download all of that stuff. I would love to. I'm thinking about putting it on The Sims for sure, but I'm not going to build with any custom content. I'm just going to keep this CC free, which will be very, very interesting. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's flop on over into game. And we're going to get started. <laughs> so here we are, darlings, back at art, the Arts and Crafts store. It, I really like the look of it from the outside. I think it looks really nice. I do I do enjoy the way it looks. Yeah, it just looks nice. It looks inviting. It looks inviting. And I, I, I can see the separation from like the store to the house as well, which I'm just, I'm just completely here for. So what we're going to do today, somebody said to put a food cart out here. I love that idea. So I think I'm going to get rid of one of the bins. Or I could keep both of the bins in. <laughs> but we'll just put them here. And I'd love to get like a little food cart here. I think that would be great. Like a little food, um, uh, what do we call them in the UK? Uh, what do we call them? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> but we're going to get one. We are. We're, go we're going to get one. And I think the one that I want. You're the one that I want. This is not the time for singing. Not in the slider, Satan. Is the um this one? I think this was looks. Oh, it looks smashing out here. I tell you that much. Tell you that much. Let's try and get it as far away from the bins as possible, though, shall we? Maybe like there. That would be a tight squeeze to get this car out. It really would. So I might just shuffle the car over to this side. These parking spaces are too thin as well, but I'm not moving them. I'm shan't and I won't and I can't. So I'll put them, that one there instead. Oh, he's over the line. Somebody said, why don't you... <laughs> I thought this was so funny. The comment was, why don't you park over two spaces? And that's where Karen's parked. <laughs> that's such a good... Because that would be a Karen way of parking. <laughs> I, don't know. I thought that was very clever. So well done, you. You made me laugh. You made me... You tickled my tuppence and made me laugh. You really did. I was for it. What the fuck? Why is there green there? 
We'll sort that out in a jiffy. So yeah, what we're going to do today, we're going to start working on the garden a bit. A bit more detailing out here, I think, as well. Um, a few scratches and stuff on the wood, I think, itself. Somebody said that wood wouldn't be hard to come by in this kind of area, and I get that. But this is The Sims. We're just going to deal with it. Somebody said maybe use stucco. I tried it. It made the build look too much like a house. The wood kind of takes that away weirdly. So I'm sticking with the wood. But I love your realism. Well done to you. I'm for that kind of realism. I really am. But not today. Not today. We're going to go ahead and do this one instead. What war lights do we get with? Um, oh, God. Yeah, let's forget about them. With Eco Lifestyle. Them ones. And they're not very good. We need some outdoor lighting up here. We really do. Like some little... I've got to think about my posture. I keep leaning forward and I'm going to have a neck like Gail Platt in a minute. And I'm not for it. I'm really not. Oh, Gail. <laughs> Some people out there might not know who Gail Platt is. Gail Platt is a character from a soap in the UK. Um, <laughs> she she looks like a turtle. Bless her. She does. I'm not being well. I'm, I suppose I'm being a bit rude. She looks like a turtle. There's nothing more to be said. There is absolutely nothing more to be said about it. <laughs> right, so we've got some spotlights going there. Maybe some, like, street lamps here. Um, do we have any nice street lamp? What do you look like? Oh, they're lovely. I forget about these. These are from the Star Wars pack. The Star Wars pack for lighting, they nailed it. They nailed the lighting. Some of it is a bit like that one there, a bit questionable. But they did... <gasps> do you know what? I've never even thought... But well, you could, like, use this one... As like a a lamp, like an industrial lamp indoors. Oh, I must remember about that because that was iconic then. Um, I just want some... I don't want to use these. What lighting have they got going through the streets here? They've got old-fashioned, like, okay. So I'll stick with that vibe. I'll stick with that vibe, but we don't really have one to match in with that one. And the ones in debug don't really light up, weirdly. I know that sounds stupid, but they don't. They just kind of like have a little weird glow about them. So maybe I'll use these, but in a different color. Oh, was was this one brown over there? It was. So we'll use this one. We'll use this one and I'll put it right up against the the fed. Well, I'll, I'll sort that out in a second. I'll do two of these. Oh, stunning. Oh, stunning. <laughs> Some people have been asking me, what the hell do you say when you do that weird stunning mouth? And where did it come from? I think someone asked me on Twitch last night, actually. And I was like... Just from my weird brain, love. Just from my weird brain. <laughs> Just from my weird brain. And I really enjoyed the way Colleen Ballinger says um, cute. She like sticks her tongue out and stuff. So it's kind of inspired from that as well. A lot of my sayings are kind of inspired from a lot of people. Um, obviously stunning as the Junal Birch thing. I cannot. And when I'm doing my merch, if I ever hit... I've got to stop saying that. People have been telling me off for saying if... When I hit 100k, I'm doing some merch. And I know so many people out there are going to say, you do the stunning, do a stunning one. And I just don't want to do that because I was inspired from saying stunning from Junal Birch. And I don't want to step on that iconic queen's toes, you know. That is her saying. It's just me being inspired from it. So I won't be doing any stunning merch, sadly. But Whiffle and all of that business, you can bet your tits will be doing that, darling. Right, I wanted to sort out this weird green patch here. I don't know what's going on there. <gasps> I thought my game froze then. I was just about to absolutely slap a child. No, that's um, that's a bit too uh, harsh. Harsh. A little bit too harsh. I'm in a bit of a weird mood today. I think it's because yesterday I was in such a mellow mood. Like on Twitch last night, I was really calm and collected. Whereas today, I'm just like, whoa! <laughs> I don't know what it is. See, it's doing it everywhere here. I wouldn't have left the green like that. So it's definitely something to do with this. It's not me. It's not my doing. But it's not me. I'm sorry, but it's not me. Absolutely not me. Unless I left it in there. <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> and thought, I'll get to, I'll get around to doing that later. Most probably. Oh, it's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit better, that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we like that. Okay, so detailing out here what am i seeing what am i feeling do we want rubbish out here maybe a little bit maybe a little bit by the bins i think there would definitely be a little bit by the bins you know raccoons are raccoons like in new mexico no idea i fucking wished raccoons were in the uk though because they are the cutest shits alive they really are 
And there's some, and I get why you think of them as pests and stuff in um, the US and other places, Canada. Are they in Canada? I have no idea. But I'm sorry, they're the cutest little fucking things in the world and I love them. If they were raiding my bins, I would leave my bin flaps open for them. I really would. Bless them. And I know there's going to be people in the comments that, oh, they've, they caused havoc. And blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I do not give a shit. They're cute. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little bit of rubbish around there. Yeah, stunning. Stunning. And maybe like a sale sign here or something. Let me just have a look in signage. Sing? No, not sing. Sign. Um, Not in war sculptures. Can we just have a look at sign? There we go. Let's see what we can flop out the front here. Maybe something like... I don't know. Something with like... What's this got on it? That's got like fresh baguettes and stuff. They are selling food in here as well, I reckon. I reckon this could be a good place for food. Maybe not some... Oh, maybe a few bits of furniture. Maybe a few bits of furniture. That could be nice. But I want something to kind of reflect on this, you know? So let me find a good sign. I think I found one, my love. Oh, am I, in cent am I central in there? I am. There we go. Yes, I think I found one. This is um, from Get to Work. And it looks like it's got crystals on it. Which we're going to be selling crystals in here as well. Thank you as well to so much of, so much of you. So many of you that let me know about the jewellery from Island Living. Oh, we're definitely doing that, loves. Definitely, we're going to have to try and get creative. Obviously, a lot of the things not won't make sense, but... Um, they might not reflect on Native American culture as much as we want them to because we're working with stuff that isn't there. Why isn't it not there? Isn't this both this supposed to be an American simulator? Hmm, pardon me. It's a white American simulator, isn't it? So, yeah, maybe they skipped over that part, didn't they? Sims. You know, what more could be said, to be honest? Right, yeah, a couple of little mats there to wipe your little feetsies on. Feetsies? Okay. <laughs> And I think what I need to do to get some more detail in here is just do some, like, tire marks everywhere. So maybe just faintly just do some, like, tracks, like, coming out from the parking spaces and stuff, you know? Again, I'm all about that detail, love. All about that detail. Right. This is where Karen skidded out in an absolutely furious mood because they didn't have her brand of flower. She was fuming. She had to go all the way to, um... Oasis Spring City to get it. Absolutely human she was. Fucking bitch. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Karen. No, there's no song there, Aiden. I was just about to make my own up then, but we're not going to do it. We really aren't. We're going to keep it this way. <laughs> so a little food hut here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of these. Let's just... Yeah, like that. And I'm going to put a picnic bench here. So if they do want to eat, they can come and sit by the bins. You know, romantic. Romantic, stunning. We're for it. It's happening. So like a used looking um, picnic bench. <laughs> That's how I feel most days, to be honest with you. A used picnic bench. <laughs> uh, uh, je ne sais quoi, Blair. That's all I can say. All I can say. Yeah, there we go. Is it this one? Yeah, we'll use... Oh, should we do two? Should we do two here? Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Yeah, bugger it. Gonna do two. Oh, that looks cute. That's put a bit more detail out there. I like that. Gonna do some more lights over here by the vending machines as well. I might do two more. Just one there and one there. Yes. Yep, that's put a bit more detail in there. That's what we like to see. I'm gonna bring that out a tad more so they can see it when they're going into the shop, you know? You know, darling? You know. And then I'm going I'm gonna move this bin. I'm gonna put this bin over here instead. Uh, main reason is being it's just a bit too close to that sign there, and it was really making me fuming. And we don't want to make me fuming, do we, darlings? The answer to that, sweeties, is no, no, we don't. I think we'll clean up that rubbish and just leave the rubbish behind there because I I do want to get a gate, like an access point from this way, so they don't have to go through the house or store to get into the back garden. I really wish we could move gates like we can with doors. It doesn't make sense that they didn't implement that in. And I can see that this is a different colour to the wood. You don't have to roast me. <laughs> anyway, so the idea was a little um, <clears throat> hut for grandma. So bedrooms, like they don't have to be massive. This isn't a permanent residence. We just want to 
kind of get the point across that. She's going to have her own kitchen and stuff, so maybe a little bit bigger for her. And then the children can have this smaller one here. Oh, do you know what? I kind of like that. I think I'm going to raise these up, though, and have a, look, a little decking moment with, like, a little decking. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes. Yes. I'm for that. No, I didn't ask you to... How are you connected? Oh, okay. 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 You know? Okay. <laughs> Just okay. You know? Just okay. How are you? Just okay. Just okay, darling. <laughs> Uh, I told you I'm on a weird one. I'm just on a weird moment today. I love that. I love it. I love being on a weird one. Doesn't anybody else? Is anybody? Well, you are weird. You're all weird. <laughs> We're all weird together. There's no need in me asking that, really. Right, just a little decking moment. Just out the back here. And I'm going to raise these up on stilts, I think. And then maybe instead of... No, 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 no. I'm going to bring this fence here i was thinking maybe instead of like joining the fence that what you usually can go into a foundation what are you on about you absolute boob you absolute breast come here get in there thank you right <clears throat> and what i was going to say i was going to connect this in with this but i'm going to leave this bit free and put a tree out here as well so je ne sais quoi bleu. you know we're just going to leave it we're just going to leave it. Oh, I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't like that at all. That's better. Yeah, okay. Right, so here we go. We're going to raise these up on stilted legs so they can feel the breeze in their nether regions. Um, Yeah, we'll go for that color. That was a good find. Again, we're going to go for wooden shacks here. Um, Well, not shacks. They're huts. Just nice little huts. Yes, I do think so. And then for the roof line, I think I'm going to just do a generic uh, gabled roof on both of them. But again, trying to keep that low profile. I really like the look of the roof on top here. So I may try and sort of copy that over. Yeah, no, that should be fine. That should be fine. So that kind of like flatness. Let me see this vibe. Oh, I'm for it. Really am. I'm going to do this one on this side as well. Stunning. Jedi. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> I don't like that they're joined. Don't like that they're joined. Will it look weird if I did that? No, I don't think it does. No, we're going to flop all flaps in. Oh, I just had to uncross my legs. I was crushing my nether regions then. You didn't need to tell the internet that, Aiden. You really didn't, but you did. You decided to, uh, you decided to do that. You really did. Now, where are those carved stairs? Because I think they would look lush here. Again, woods. Woods are not going to match. Oh, it's not too bad. But can we do better? Can we do better? Oh, there we go. That's better. That really is. Wondering if I could do this, like there, and then just whiffle that around to the side. Just one dollar. You didn't need to go, ex like, ex I, oh. What? It's... it's I mean, yeah. You know, and I don't even have to put a banister on that either. Thank fuck, because they, they don't work properly. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes. And then I think what I'll do is use... Do I want to go for, like, the jungle adventure vibe here? That's maybe a bit bright, that. Oh, they're all going to be a bit bright. They're all going to be a bit bright. Like, oh, God, that's neon. That's absolute neon, darling. What about... Did we get any Sulani fences? I don't remember. Let me have a look for the perfect fence. Now, that was an island fence that I was using. Um, I thought it was Jungle Adventure for some reason, but it wasn't. It was an island living... It was an island living one. So, instead, I've used the Snowy Escape one. I just think it looks nice. I just wanted to box that little, like, residential area in quite nicely, you know? Um, and I think we're going to use the same wood as what we've got out the, on the actual main house itself. Maybe this was all built together, I would say. All built together. But I'm not going to put solar roofing on this one. I think I'm going to do um, like tin roofing. Like this kind of like vibe. 
hopefully we can just get like a plain yeah that silver one was nice but i'm just gonna check i wish this came in better swatches don't you like there's just some ones that you'd hardly ever use um yeah we'll go for that vibe yes yeah that's nice and then i'm gonna put on the, I'm using the steeped roof trim a lot lately, and it's the this one here that's on there originally. Um, I don't know why, but I am. I am. The more you know, you know? You know. You know. Right, let's do a bit more detailing to this now. Now we've got the footprint of this down, I'm going to start doing a bit more detailing to the actual back and the main building itself. So this is going to be obviously the master suite. The stairs have disappeared. I will put them back in once we get into the interior. But, um, but yes. So what's this again? Uh, I need to be refreshed. Bathroom through here. Living. No, this is the kitchen. This is the dining room. Um, this is another hallway. Yeah, that's another hallway. And then this is, um, the living area. The living area. I may make the living room just a little bit bigger. Can I do that? Let me see the roof line here. Yeah, I could. I could. I could. Let me just see, actually, because it's not going to be the main living. No, it's fine. It's fine. Leave it. Leave it alone. So, I'm going to put this decking. Oh, don't drag that food cart with you. For goodness sake. I'm going to put the decking. All the way across to here. And then I'm going to pull it all the way across to there as well. Yeah, nice. 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 Nice, you know. I'm not raising it up either. Where did that fence just go? Did I just get rid of that? Why? Why did you disappear on me? How very do? There we go. Um, Did I even... Is there a fence behind this now? Oh, for goodness. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to raise this up because of just how the store is to the floor of that. I don't want to do that. But we will put some wood and stuff down on here too. But what I need is to not use the shop front windows. But I do want some nice doors coming out from maybe the kitchen and the living area. I think that would be nice. So maybe just some generic... Oh, do you know what ones would look really good? They don't necessarily have to have windows on them either. But the ones that would maybe look nice are the base game sliding not glass ones um these ones here oh they do they do and we're gonna say the husband carved and made these doors i love that idea love that idea for us i really do very much do and i'm gonna use these windows down here as well i think they would look nice let's get my quarter tile placement on shall we aiden for goodness um that's a bit too close. Oh, no, it's fine. I thought it was a bit too close to the edge then. So I think we will be using these a lot down here. The dining room, I might may put some bigger windows on, actually. Just wondering what windows, though. So let me pull some out. I went for these windows from I, um, Jungle Adventure. And I put another one around here. One to get some light into the hallway as well. One on the bathroom. And I use this door here from Get Together as well on this. Is that Get Together or is that Seasons? What are you? Season, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I use that door for the main entrance door. I thought that would be rather spiffingly lovely. So that's what we've done. That is what we've done. Okay. So what am I going to do here? I think I need to do that same kind of moment. What I did at the front here just to really solidify where this roof point is. Is that going to be weird there? Let me see. Um, It kind of is a bit weird there. It kind of is. So instead of that, we'll just do... Oh, Christ. Let's just get rid of you. We'll just do a pillar there instead. And I think the one that we'll use is a big thick boy. Yes, a big thick boy from Outdoor Retreat. And we'll just pop it there like so. Okay. Maybe not wood out here. I'm thinking about using a bit of stone. A little bit of stone here for the pavement. And I think I'll go, go for the one from Star Wars, actually. Uh, this one here. I think this one would look nice. Out the front here. Out right, the back, sorry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I like that. I do. Bloody like it. Enjoy it very much. 
Yeah, I think I'll do that. This is going to have trees and stuff in here. So I'm going to leave that like it is. Trees here as well. Um, I don't know how we're going to like segregate this area off yet. Because I do want to do like a little chicken coop. Um, I want to do a crafting area as well for the husband. Like a workshop. But an outdoor like workshop if you know what I mean. I may use the eco lifestyle like um, pergola for that. Um, so we'll start doing that in a minute. I think what I need to do is choose some wood for there. I did pick the wood for the inside as well. I've gone for this vibe on the inside. So I think what I'm going to do is use that wood um, for the outside here. Let me see that color. Is that a bit bright? No, that's nice. That's nice. Once we hit it with green as well, it would be fine. Yeah, no, that's cute. I do enjoy. Okay. And then here... I'm going to put some doors and windows on these little huts as well. What door? What door? Should we probably need a door with glass, to be honest with you, to get as much light as possible into these places. So, oh, maybe I could use you. Mm, I'd have to go a bit more like that, though, with that. Oh, that's nice. That does sit in quite nicely because of the fence. Look, it's the same tone. We're mixing woods in this place as well. I know. Unheard of unheard of on a Devon Bumpkin video, but we're doing it. We really are. We've got to get over our fear of mixing woods in The Sims. We really do. So maybe I should use the the window the same tone as well. I mean, yeah, I do like that. We'll use a bit of a different window on this compared to the house then. Um, do I want to do windows at the back? Yeah, we'll just do two windows at the back as well. There we go. One there. And one there as well. And the rest can stay blank. I mean, they would have got the best view, to be honest with you. <laughs> but they are children. They don't deserve it, you know? They don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ. Christ almighty. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's cute. They look nice. I like them. I do. And I'm going to use the same lights, I think. Out here too just above the doors here one there and one there yeah just so they get a bit more light obviously we'll detail a bit more of that soon as well okay so we're going to move on to the uh the workshop area i think that would be a good placement for it there because it looks really cool like over the car park area there i do like that and i'm thinking about bringing the stone into here as well but i don't want to go too far so i'm going to go to there and oh that's gonna be weird wait there one second there and there yeah that's a bit better okay i do need to pull this out just slightly from the edge now oh stunning so absolutely stunning and let me just boost that one out because i just don't like the way that that looks like that and i'm going to control f it and then get quarter tile placement on oh stunning Yes. Yes, we'll do that. We will. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe fence this in with some bamboo. Let me have a little look. See if I can do that. I had a thought in my head. I'm just wondering if it's going to work. Where are you, bamboo? Hmm? Am I like cycled past it nine times? Probably. Probably knowing me. Um, This tone? Oh, that's really tall. I didn't think it was going to be that tall. Why didn't I think it was going to be that tall? I have no idea. Mm, let me find a better fence then. I'm going to go for the island living one on here. In that colourway as well. Just a little bit brighter. A bit decorative. Again, he's a woodworker. So he probably made this all himself as well. I'm absolutely for that. I really am. Right. I need to get back into eco lifestyle. Because I do want to get that candle making station out here. Plus some other things. So I'm just going to pull a few items out. Give me one sec. So I've pulled out quite a few items. Eco Lifestyle is going to come in so handy for this build. Um, I think what I'm going to start doing is making the kind of power farm work. I, As I said in the beginning of this build, I really wanted this to kind of be like a self-sustaining kind of lot, really. It's very important in the culture. So I reckon they're going to have a nice little wind farm here, which I'm going to do with some um solar panels with some solar panels by each of them too hopefully they can get still get to them they should be able to hopefully they can um or i might just do one one big one because they've got a solar roof as well 
they've got a whole solar roof going on. Um, I'm just going to do one of these, but I'm going to fence this in with some hazard tape just in case. So they know that they're not allowed in that area. Um, what am I doing here? I am getting rid of... No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in here and get the this hazard tape. Excuse you? Oh, it's a gate. Oh, I didn't even know it came in a gate. Well, the more you know, you know. So I'm going to do that round to here and then just here as well. And then I'll put some metal on the floor. Um, boop, 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 like this. This kind of metal should do quite nicely. Lovely. And then I'll do a gate so they can get into this area, which I didn't know that was a thing, but it is by the looks of things. So a little gate into that area there so they can go in to fix, if they need to, their solar panels or their winter. It just helps keep the kids away from it all as well, you know? You know. So the farm kind of area will have to kind of go up around this side now, I think away from everything. This could still have like the garden area in, which I might do. Now I bought the recycler out as well. And I think what I'm going to do is put the recycler next to the bins. Um, just to act as a recycling object. You know, maybe they've got some recycling that they like to do. Again, I really wanted to make this build as sustainable as possible, which is what, what I really want. So maybe that would be quite cute to have there next to the bins. Kind of like that idea. I'm going to go for it. And I bought out these woodworking objects as well. Maybe they make some bird houses that they're going to sell. It's all going to go on, my loves. It really is. So what I really want to do now is start mapping where I do want that farm. And then I'll have an idea of space and stuff. So what I would love is a chicken run, like a chicken run. I'm not going to detail the chicken run just yet because we haven't got that much time to do that today. But I will get to it. But this build is going to be, as I said, multiple parts anyway. So that's the way it's going to go. So I'm going to do you two about there. Should I? No, I'll do you two about there. Up there. Just one there. And then go to there. Because I'm going to put a nice tree here as well. I do want lots of trees on this lot. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, no, that's nice. This would be a perfect place. To grow some veg. And then I'm going to do the chicken run here, I think. Yes. We've still got lots of space that we'll, like, figure out what we're going to do with it. But I've just got a few ideas in my head at the minute. So, some vertical planters. I think I'm just going to have vertical planters for this lot as well. I'm not going to... um, I'm not going to do, like, planters on the ground or something. No. We're going to keep it this way. This is the way it's going to be. So, I'm going to do three. Three of them. There. Oh, gosh, this is huge. Just realised how big this is. Um. Oh, maybe I will have planters on the ground then if I've, if, if I've got enough space. Got three there. Oh, Christ. Christ. Right, I'll do one more there. You up to there. Up you go, darling. Up you go and tally-ho. Okay, I want them to have some bees as well. I'd really love them to have some bees. So I'm going to get this one in that colourway. Can we go just a little bit darker? Just a smidgen. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Little pot and station there. Gorgeous. Or maybe like a bit more there. Yes. Um, and this one here, I was thinking about putting this up near um the side here. Just onto the side. So it's got like almost like a storage unit area going on here, which I might do. My head is everywhere at the minute because there's so much to think about. But I think we'll definitely get there, loves. We will. So, yeah, I will do some planters on the floor now that I've got that in. But not too many. I don't want it to, like, be overkill. But I do want some in here. And I prefer the this one here. There we go. Stunning. So I do, like, one there. One there. And one there. Maybe I can move them in one more. Probably could, actually. There we go. There we go. And then I'll put a fence here. A gate even there. Did we have a snowy escape gate? Probably not, I'm going to say. Oh, I take it back. We've got one. Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been cool here. No, I'm going to keep it as it is. As it is. I didn't even realise that that was a thing. Did not even realise. What's that? That's like... 
bamboo and sort of hedging. That's cute. But we're not looking at that, darlings. We're getting a gate in. We are getting a gate in. Stunning. I'll do more details to that soon. We'll just concentrate on doing all of this. I don't know where to put the water catcher. It maybe might make sense like around here. And this is obviously going to... I need to get the woodworking table out as well. Like there to there. Cool. Okay, before I carry on any further, I'm going to start getting in some trees around this lot because they need some trees floating around. I really want this to be kind of tree lined quite high as well. So I may use a mixture of different trees. So give me just a second while I pull some out. So I've pulled some trees out. I still want more on this lot, but I think what I need to do is map this garden out properly before I put any more trees down. But what I have done is I think this would be cute for a chicken run. I've used um, one of the dormers from Get Together and also one of the um, pet doors from Seasons and then obviously this cockerel here. So maybe we'll just, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll detail up this little bit first just so they can sort of see. Have we got any eggs in game? I am sure I can search for some eggs. In fact, let me get you away from there because I do want a door up there as well. So just a few little chickies. Little, little chickadees, you know. One at the back here is very shy. Very shy. Dreams about another world, you know. Dreams about another life, but he's just a chicken. <laughs> what am I saying? Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> um, I kind of want to carry this on, this flooring. But I think I want to do stepping stones instead. Just some square stepping stones rather than this here. So maybe I'll do that instead. But we'll carry that onto there. And then I'm going to put the door or the fen the gate even to here. Yeah. I've been watching too much of The Crown. <gasps> Best series ever. If you guys um, enjoy The Crown, let me know down below. Have you been watching The Crown? I finished it all. Absolutely iconic. I'm for it. I know some people are against the monarchy and everything out there. But I loved it. Thought it was bloody smashing. Really did. Enjoyed myself thoroughly. Even though it had Margaret Thatcher in. <laughs> oh, God. Margaret bloody Thatcher. How on earth? How on earth? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How on earth indeed? <laughs> so, little chicken run. This is cute. Little, I'm just going to darken bits down here and there. And maybe do like a little like bit just of like some patchy like earth. Where it's dried out in the sun, maybe, you know? Yes, around there. Stunning. A bit there. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, that's put a bit of detail in there, which is what I liked. Let me see if I can find some eggs. Have we got eggs? Egg. Egg roll. A decorative egg. What's a decorative egg? Oh. Oh, I remember them. I don't really want... What's a fossilized egg? What do you look like? Uh, <laughs> a fossil... It looks like a fossilized egg, funnily enough. Egg. Egg. Just egg. Egg egg roll. Egg fireplace. Egg baking. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got eggs. Oh, I'm going to flop a few of these around. They don't look like eggs. <laughs> they don't look like eggs at all. I mean... Oh, hello, darling. Hey. <laughs> look at the one in the background. Hey. <laughs> We're here. Make, can I right, rise them up a little bit, maybe? Is it, Are they sunk? Nope, they just look like that. Okay. Okay, well, we'll use a few of these. I know that they would roost and have them in here, but just for purposes, we're going to pop them around. Maybe they've just got loose tuppies, you know, and they're just flop. They're just queefing out eggs all, all over the show. <laughs> oh, God. Why am I like... Why am I, why am I this way? Just why? A scattering... Is it called scattering? No. What is it called? Stones. A gathering of garden stones. <laughs> scattering. <laughs> I just think these would look nice. Just to, fill it, to make it look like seed. I've done this before in builds before. Um, and it just puts a little bit more detail in here, you know? And I'm all for that. Bits of bread or whatever they eat, you know? Chickens. I'd love some chickens. I'd love a goat. One day when I've got my house in the countryside, I'm speaking it into this existence. I'm going to have a goat and he's going to be called Barry. Barry the goat. 
Barry the goat, and I'm going to plait his little chin beard as well. And put a bead in it. I am. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And maybe she lets them run wild as well. They're not just like kept into this run. But this is to protect them from, I would imagine, coyotes and stuff out this way. We have to, in the UK, we have to worry about uh, foxes. Foxes tend to attack chickens. Um, I think my sister's ducks got attacked once, once by a fox. I'm sure that was my sister. I've had plenty of people in my life who's had ducks and chickens. That's the joys of living near the countryside, you know? It just becomes normal. Um, What ground do I want on here? I think I want some kind of stone, but like this kind of stone. But I want it to be a bit more... Oh, we need some more stuff. Do you know what? This one here would probably be better, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this. This one would be nice in the... Kind of growing area here. They're not planting directly into the soil. So it kind of uh, makes sense. Oh, that looks, ni that looks nice in here, actually. So I'm thinking about actually making this into the pathways as well. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I may just make this like free and have this um, just with a few little objects in it. Maybe a swing set for the kids as well. Maybe I'll do that. But um, I'm going to keep it free for the minute because I do, as I said, want to put lots of trees in. All right, and then I'm going to wing you all the way back to here, darling. There we go. And I'm going to spread you out. Filth. Utterly filthy. <laughs> and then I'm going to <laughs> go all the way around to there. Oh, I love terrain painting. I do. It brings out the very much the Bob Ross in me. It really does. Swing set here. Let's get a swing set out first. They're very big though, aren't they? Very big swing. Oh, gravity powered swing. Gravity powered? Well, slap me on the tits and call me Sheila. Fancy that. I want just like a wooden one. Haven't we got another swing set? I cannot see the swing set. There it is. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Much better. There's the vibe. And I reckon father would have um made these made this swing set so yeah we'll do that there lovely so now that would give me choices now where to put the pathways i'm gonna put this under grass to make this look like kind of like walked on and stuff so we'll carry on making this pathway now as well and i'm gonna bring this pathway out in that orientation there a little wiggle back to the middle there gorgeous and then this here as well Yes. Oh, stunning. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work. I will detail this pathway up as well and darken down the sides and stuff so it makes it look like it's not just plonked there. Yep, I'm full that. Very much full that. And what I'll probably do is go under here. What's that colour look like here? It looks like shit. That's what that colour looks like here. Um, So I'll use this one instead just underneath where the chicken run is stunning and the swing set around to there as well oh oh pathway yes yes pathway here as well you know now is it true i need to i need this questions answered so anybody in japan who is watching i've heard that in japan what they make pavements depending on where they see people walking so if you've got like a patch of earth and they see a trail that has been um walked on a lot and used a lot that is where they then build a pathway is that true let me know i'm very interested in that i've always been wondering that i've never asked anybody in japan who watches and i know there are a few of you guys in japan that watches my videos hello how are you Please let me know that because I'd be very interested in that. Because if so, that is utterly genius. Utterly genius. But I wouldn't expect anything less from Japan because it is just a genius country, to be honest with you. It really is. It really is. And I cannot wait to visit you one day. Oh, I cannot wait. Once this fucking coronavirus is over, <laughs> I shall be I shall be planning a trip. 
very, very soon. Okay, let's get all of this going through here as well. Let me just terrain paint all of this up a little bit, my loves. Um, and then I'll show you, show you the finished result after. There we go. I've done a little bit more detailing to the terrain paint. She's gone around the borders and stuff. Still needs to be perfected a little bit. But just so we can leave today on something that kind of looks semi sort of done. Um, but this is looking cute. This is the vibe I wanted. And I love that it's got this little area out the back now. That looks really cute. Oh, God. Look at that juice in station slipping right through the fence there for you, Ming. Um, but yeah, this is starting to like nestle into the landscape around it, which is what I wanted. Um, and I think the biggest help with the trees and the colors. It's just really, really gone in nicely. So next time I'm going to do more detailing towards the uh, exteriors it still needs a lot more detail for me um especially like around here and stuff i put this random bush on top of a bloody um gravel um a few more trees around as well i'm gonna do detail underneath this fence we'll start furnishing these little like huts as well get some bedrooms and some, a little mini kitchen in grandma's and i want to do an outside cook space but this is why i've left this completely sort of like blank around here because i want to do an outside like cookout um, with like a hot pot and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. Um, but yeah, this is looking very nice. I'm liking how this is coming along. And then obviously we've still got to do all this exterior. Oh God, look at that creeping in there. We'll sort that. Um, we've got to do all of the interiors, which is going to take quite a while. So we'll definitely come back next week and start getting that detailed too. But um, yes, all done. There we are, my utter darlings thank you so much for coming today thank you so much for your lovely comments and feedback as always leave me some lovely comments and i will be back tomorrow with another design me devon i'm gonna be doing another design me devon tomorrow so and then on thursday i've got a kind of funny video coming out a video i've been wanting to make for a while and then on friday we've got a farmhouse speed build that i started today and it's looking okay. I'm not too... It's not too shabby, shall I say. So we've got a speed build coming out on Friday as well. So be on the lookout, my love. Be on the lookout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow, my darlings. Goodbye.